Having spent the past 14 years as the beloved James Mutsamai on popular Sopim Vango, Dingan Kumalo is a man of many talents, including singing. Did not know that part, but we'll find out in a second. And Dingan has also stood at the helm of making sure that you and I remain informed of our rights as host of Speak Out. And the man who made the parts to be done, <laughs> Dingan Kumalo, joins us on the show to discuss his career as well as uh, other interests that he's involved in. Digan, pleasure to be with you. But Tim, the pleasure's all mine. And, uh, you know, for people who can influence the nation and keep glued for 14 years and they don't get tired of you, it means you've got something going for yourself there. Maybe, I La don't Loy. know. I'm sure La Loy. Ah, uh, maybe <laughs> Tumanda, maybe Kiamakhafa, you'll never know. Maybe I'm paying these people. Well, there are too many. <laughs> I doubt that you'd be able to to afford them. But but obviously it speaks for itself, uh, Muvango, that it stayed this long and has this yes. appeal. yes. Yeah. Well, Pratim, I think the recipe of Mubango is, uh, it's, it's home. Yeah. When you get there, whether you're new or you're old, but you're home. So it's not really an effort. You know, there are people that when they have to wake up and go to work, they dread going. They're thinking, why am I going? Yes, there? yes. All the years that I've been on Mubango, I actually look forward to going to work. And then I suppose script writing is a very key component of it, right? Of so is it the same course. people who've been writing or it's well, a different Well, they've changed. Of... They've changed the writers a little bit. Mm. Uh, but the head writer and the person who, see, who oversees the writers has been the same person. Okay. Because you have the culture. You know, mm. Uh, mm. the other soapies have their culture and Mubango has. Mm. We mm. have our own culture. Things like uh, you'll never see people drinking alcohol on Mubango. You'll never see people smoking on Mubango. Okay. And as much as people don't believe it, but you don't see kisses on Mubango. Well, yes. Still, people watch that, Mubango. People don't kiss for 14 years. No. They don't kiss. No. But, but they have relationships for 14 years. But they and, do, exactly. And they, and they work. And but because we, 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 we put more emphasis on the positive, you get to forget that, but I've never seen James drinking alcohol. Yes. You get to forget that. Yes. Because that's not where our focus is. Yes. Mubango is a show where. We want you to be comfortable when you're sitting with your grandson mm. and your grandfather. Oh, yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then you can watch. Because you, you don't want to you know. cringe sitting mm. at home and then three people start touchy touchy and you start thinking, mm. hey, yes. well, I'm mm, mm, mm. So, Mobile, you can sit down with your grandson and your grandfather yes. and watch the same show and enjoy it. Yeah, no, I like that. I mean, it's very interesting. It's not an observation for you. You knew oh, this, no. but we've learned, some of us now. Yeah. And those who've been staying away from Mubango for whatever reasons, now we can watch. Now they have to come back. Yeah. Now they have to come okay, back. Okay, there's no restri age restrictions, no. so I can watch now. You can <laughs> <laughs> no, you are, you are free to watch, man. You are free now to they, watch. I'll come back to the story of Mubango because uh, that's the main deal, you know, yeah. after all. And, uh, and it's won awards and it's highly yes. appreciated by a lot of people. Yes. It's the pot story, man. The pots, I put the pots there. Hey, the pots yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that, what thing, was a, that huh? thing was a nightmare, bro. Yeah. You know, that thing was trending for like nine months. Yes. I was thinking, but why? <laughs> but I don't understand why. You know, Pratim, we went to, it was Venda actually. Yes. <laughs> How ironic. We went to Venda and um, obviously we have complainants that were complaining that they paid somebody to manufacture ports for them. Yes. So I did the backstory. We had to go confront the person. By the time we got to the house. Yes. It was around, I think around about 12 o'clock midnight. Mm. And we want to talk to this woman who took the money and never manufactured the pots. Yes. This kid just comes from nowhere. Yeah, 12 midnight, right? 12 midnight. Okay. All right. Well, that's a very important detail. 12 midnight. 12 midnight. Discussion is a pot a, about pots exactly. that have not been manufactured. And the baby girl who's supposed to be at home sleeping at that yes. time, she's not there. She shows up from nowhere. Yeah. And she says, I can't even repeat, repeat what she said because yes. I don't know what she said. Yeah. So I'm sitting there thinking, guys, this can't be happening. I'm in the middle of closing this deal now. And this girl comes in and she confuses me like this. What is this? Yeah. And now the next thing, that the thing is on TV and nine months later people are still, I'm thinking, these people are laughing about this. Do they know the hardship I went through on that day? I'm going to play that. You're going to play it? I'm going to play it as part of this so people can understand what... Because I'm trying to repeat what was said there. I, you and can't. I can't. You know, no, you, you can't. Put the pots, the pot, whatever. No, you, so, can't. you yeah, can't. I can't. It's just one of those... I've seen it every day, but I still can't say what you said. It's life, isn't it?
What can we say? Yeah, life imitating art <laughs> in this uh, particular instance. Now, tell me about your other interests. I mean, you know, advancing people's rights and, and the singing part for that matter. Ah, uh, the singing part, I don't know why it's even there. Yes. I used to sing a long time ago. Yes. Actually, I was a singer before, before an actor. Uh -huh. uh, we had an album, me and a few friends of mine, but uh, the deal we got from the recording label at that time was not very appetizing for us. So for that, that time. But for that know, time. Like like everything else, unfor or most of the things. Yes. Unfortunately, we are no kiwa, Papa. Our no kiwa. Along so, the way. So that's what we were trying to run away from. So yeah. ended up, and unfortunately, the guy we had a deal with passed on, Prasnyaga. Oh, and, uh, yes, No, 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 so. Spokes Age. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah Spokes yeah. Age. Yes. So we thought, ah, more no kiwa. But then you just left it. So we yeah. thought, ah, you know. We but you could be busy with fill up the dome or fill up Orlando now. You ah, see, those guys are no kiwa. I'm not. That's why they fill up the dome. I'm saying, because we've paid the juice already, you can go back and do the same thing. Maybe, who knows? Exactly. But I'm happy where I am now. Then, and, uh, you know, Mubango is going to be around for some time, obviously. Mubango is going to be around for, for quite a long time. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I might be on Mubango for quite a long time or forever. Yeah. Because, you know, no, but no, no situation is permanent. But given the nature of the work, obviously, popularity and you depend, no situation is permanent, yes. as you say, and the audience tastes may change on yes. top of that. Yes. They may move to, and there could be new other things that come on the scene and compete with and yourself. There's, there's new talent they, coming up. Precisely. But you've got other interests, and uh, we were talking about uh, game farming. Yeah. And uh, game, meaning animals, exotic out there, animals. exotic animals in yes. the wild, especially in the Limpopo area. It's very yeah. popular game yeah. farming there. Yeah. So you are somewhat involved in that. I am, uh, I grew up in a farm mm. in the free state called Sienegal. Yeah. Uh -huh. So farming is something that's very close to my heart. I mm. used to look after my grandfather's cattle. And then there was a time where I went to, to buy my own farm and do cattle, uh, mm. uh, 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 cattle farming and stuff. Mm. And then I met a guy called Mike Gabo. Mm. Mike Gabo. Actually, my brother used to work for Land Bank. And Mike Gabo was coming to Land Bank to do a presentation about the gaming industry. Mm. So my brother invited me because he knows me and animals. Mm. See, she, she saw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I came there and I really liked what Mike Gabo said. And I sat down with him, we spoke, and he opened doors for me and he said to me, no, if I, you don't have a farm at the moment, come to my farm, you can get a, 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 a percentage in my farm, mm. buy your animals, put them there, we take care of your animals. When your herd grows, you sell, you buy your own farm. Yeah. So I am in the gaming industry and uh, I'm loving it. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if I should ask you in front of, you know, our ask me anything. That, ask me anything. So you guys are making money. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh yeah. And uh, people, why would I lie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yes, obviously the intention would be that you want somebody to Fratim. invest and Fratim. continue. But I might ask you for money. You Fratim. see, sometimes I'll if give you, say, you. You will. I'll give you. <laughs> All right. But we'll Fratim, <laughs> Fratim, if yeah. let me make you an example. Yes. If a guy can sell. A quarter of a buffalo. Yes. A quarter of an animal for yeah. 44 million bucks. How can you not make money? Ah, okay. 44 million rents. That's a lot of money. I know you showed me the pictures and so on and uh, of those of those animals, right? The nice, thing about, the nice thing about this industry for a team, mm. as we say, we call it, it's an industry where babies make babies. I buy 10 animals, I sit back, and 10 makes 10, that 10 makes 10. Stock exchange can't give you that. Yeah. Stock exchange, you buy a share, you have a risk of the share going down. Mm. If you make money, it's if the share, the share is not gonna, have, it's, it's not gonna give baby to another share. Yes, no, no, no. no Can no. either appreciate or, or buy itself, right? It exactly. does not give you additional. If shares. I buy an Impala or a Velda yeah. guaranteed, end of this year I have another baby. Yes. I didn't buy that baby. Yeah. Next year I have two more. In three years' time, the baby that was born this year is giving babies to is giving birth to another baby. Yeah. So they don't have, you know, animals don't have stresses of being no. stuck in traffic. You're, you're drought. Working you're, late. No, no, no. Not you're, being able to make babies. They've got all the time. My brother, as long yeah. as they are fed and as long as they've got grass and they're grazing, they're happy. And the farm has been growing and the business has been growing. The farm is growing, the business is growing. Um, we're looking to, at the moment, we've got, you know, our, our animals, we've got Impala, we've got Nyala, we've got Guru, Golden Veldebeers, uh, Sable, and um, Oryx. We're still not at the stage where we can of get the buffalo. buffalo. 
We are working on a buffalo. Ha! Once I get a buffalo bread team, I'm going to stay in the farm. I'm leaving everything in Joburg. I'm going to stay in the farm. You know, if there is time, one of the days, yes, sir. I would like to go and see the farm I'd myself. Love, you know, I'd love I, to. I love going to the this is an reserves and enjoying myself. But this is an the industry. farming side is what I was not familiar with. This yeah? is the industry where most black people don't know nothing about. Yeah. And when we talk about Impala here, we're not talking about the Impala that you'll find in Kruger National Park. We're mm. talking about black Impala. We're talking about white impala. We're talking about settleback. Yes, it's animals that are very scarce. For sure. It's in in well, the Dugan, let yes. me threaten you. Yes, sir. I'll start a movement called hashtag Occupy Game Farm. I know you. Uh, <laughs> <Dingan>. so, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't occupy my game farm. I will do it for. It will be a one man <laughs> expedition. Hashtag Occupy Game Farm with uh, Dingan <laughs> Kumaro. Hey, and everything of the best to you. And thank you very uh, thank much. Thank you very Brad much for having uh, spent time with us here on the thank show. Thank you we very much for the invite, Brad Tim. It's an honor to be here. And everything of the best to you. Thank you, sir. So there you are, Dingan Kumar, man of many talents. We also learn no kissing, no uh, drinking <laughs> of alcohol, smoking on Muvango. Pay attention to that. And of course, you know the story about the pots, pet, whatever, disappeared. Well, <laughs> that is hilarious. From us, good night to you. We hope you enjoyed tonight's show. Until next time, goodbye.